take <laughs> us through what, what you consider to be at the top of the list of the many, many horrors uh, that climate change could bring. Well, you know, it's funny. The biggest threat is actually one that I didn't dwell on in the piece, which is sea level rise. That's what most of the scientists I talked to were most worried about. But as you were saying or suggesting, I think people, especially liberally minded people who are concerned about the climate, they understand the threat from sea level. And what I was trying to do is catalog all of these threats beyond sea level. And that's really important, I think, because many people like me um, can sort of compartmentalize the sea level threat and think that's going to happen if you live on the coast, maybe if you live in Miami Beach, but it's not going to threaten me, you know, in my coast, in my um, middle America city or in the middle of my city anywhere. So I was looking at other effects. The, um, the first one was heat stress, which is um, all the things that just direct heat does and how um, how close we are in many parts of the world to being um, uninhabitably hot already. There is a... Are um, people actually getting cooked to death? Well, that's what happened. That's heat stroke. Seriously, Molly. That's yeah. serious. That's, that's like, that's seriously. Jeez. Yeah, I read the article. It's serious. <laughs> in, it's in 2003, there was a big heat wave in Europe that killed 40,000 people. And if we don't do, if we stay on the track that we're on in terms of carbon emission, by the end of the 21st century, that will be an average summer. Um, so every and year air conditioning. Be. I mean, I know it sounds sort of suburban to say, <laughs> doesn't air conditioning help? Oh it, no, it, it, it totally, does, it totally but it helps. doesn't at the same time, right? I mean, it's really bad for the environment, the problem, right? um, and also it's really expensive. And for most of the parts of the world that are most threatened by direct heat, that's the Middle East, you know, elsewhere around the equator and in the tropics and subtropics. Those are not the world's wealthiest places, and so th it, there can be a real problem with mitigation.